Let me show you how to create this effect in PowerPoint. As you can see, we have a circular text going around the person, drawing the viewer's attention to the text being shown here. If you want a variation, you can do this, where you can see that the angle of rotation is slightly tilted, drawing even more attention. Now, this could be an ad where this text announces a percentage discount on the apparel this lady is wearing. Or you could replace the image of this lady with the image of a trophy where this text could be announcing the winner of the trophy. Or you may replace the trophy with a product pack shot where the text could be about the single most distinct feature of that product. The number of users to this effect is only left to your imagination. So let us learn how to create this beautiful yet surprisingly simple effect to create in PowerPoint. By the way, I'm Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. If you want even more creative ideas, you can sign up to our 5-day free email course called 25 Creative Presentation Ideas. The link is in the description box below. Here I am on a new slide. The first thing we need is to insert an isolated image. For that, let me go to Insert, Pictures, go to Stock Images. Since I'm using Office 365 subscription, I get this option here called Cutout People. I'm going to choose any one of the cutout people that I see here. Since I want somebody who is happy and celebrating, I'm going to search for happy and say enter and see if there is anybody who is happy. This guy is happy. This lady is happy. So I'm going to choose this lady's image and say insert. And that is where I got the image that I showed earlier. The next step is to get the circular text in order. For that, let me go to shapes. From basic shapes, let us pick up this text box tool and let us say this circular text will keep spinning. Now I'm going to have this in a circular shape. For that, let me go to shape format, go to word art styles and here in this group, you will see this option here called text effects. You click on the drop down menu and go to ABC transform and use this third option here called circle and there you get the option for circular text. Now to make this into a proper circle, I need to have the width and the height match. So let me go to shape format. Here I have 6.1 as height, 8.74 as width. Maybe we can make both of them as 8.74. So I'm going to select this and change this to 8.74. Now both of them are perfectly in order. Maybe this is a bit too big, so I'm going to hold the shift button, click and drag from the corner till I'm happy with the size of this square. Now, to make this text go around in a circle, there are two things we can do. One is to work with this yellow handle. The second is to increase the font size. So first, I'm going to increase the font size. So let me select this whole thing and then increase the font size like so. Can you see? It is already working. Now, the next thing I can do is to work with this yellow handle. I can click and drag this out. Can you see as I move this, notice the kind of difference that it is making. So as I move this out, it is getting smaller. And as I move this in, it is getting bigger. Now, the most I can do is to make this yellow handle touch this white circle here. I'm going to get it as close to it as possible and then work with the font size itself. So I'm going to increase it. Now, this is perfect. Now, make sure that the diameter of the circle is large enough so it is able to comfortably go around the person that you're going to have this spin around. Let me move this and place this right over here. Next, I'm going to have this spin. So let us go to animations and go to spin animation. You can see that it is spinning quite nicely. Let me adjust the timing. So let us select this, go to animation pane. I want it going slowly. So I'm going to change the duration to eight seconds. And next, let us go to the drop down menu of the animation event, go to timing and say, this needs to repeat and repeat until end of slide and say, okay. Can you see that this happens? And this in fact can be just with previous. We don't necessarily have to click for it to start. So we can have that that way. And when you go to slideshow, this is how the circular text is spinning around. And as you can see, obviously that this is spinning on top of the image. Now we want the effect to be such that it goes around the image. So how do we do that? It's very simple. Let us take a copy of this. So let us select this image, press Ctrl D to create a duplicate. 
and then place it right on top of the previous image. This time I am going to crop the second image which I kept right on top. Go to picture format, go to crop tool and then click and crop it from bottom so you can have it somewhere around here around half the image and this is now in the front. Now when I go to slideshow you can see the magic happen. We have the text spinning around the subject. The reason is this duplicate image that we have got here which is cropped till now is in front of the text and therefore it gives the illusion that the text is going behind the object and since we have cropped the bottom portion you can see that the text is spinning on top of the bottom portion. So that is why we have got this 3D kind of an effect. Next how do we change the angle of rotation? It's very simple again. Let me hit escape. Now I am going to select this text. Right click and go to format shape and go to text options here. Go to the effect options and go to 3D rotation and we are going to change the Y rotation. You can see X, Y, Z, Y is the second one. I am going to choose this one called down. Let, I, let me click down and as I do that you can see that the angle of this text is now going down. Now I am going to keep it somewhere around 325 degrees. That is a good angle. Now when I go to slideshow you can see that there is a tilt in the angle of rotation and this gives an even more interesting effect to look at. Now what you've seen is just one simple idea. Let me show you another video where I have shown five exciting variations to one PowerPoint pullout animation that creates some very interesting effects. This is the next video I want you to watch. It can really open your eyes on the kind of possibilities you can achieve in PowerPoint using very simple custom animations. Right now click on the link that you see on your screen and watch this video and I'll see you inside that.